Frightens is a self-described short, intense, first-person horror experience that places the gamer in the Apartment 17, the source of many urban legends and blood-curdling tales. Apartment 17 has received an eviction notice, and playing as the janitor, you are tasked with checking apartment rooms for lingering residents to evict. If you are wondering what frightens means, it's a made-up word. Hey, wake up. In the opening cinematic, some deranged-looking character wakes you up and tells you that the building depends on you. Do we know this guy? Is this the owner of the apartment? It really doesn't make too much sense, and immediately after, you will begin your slow walk through apartment 17 without further instruction. You start in the basement, which houses your bedroom, a disgusting closet where your bed sits beside a mountain of garbage bags. You will also be able to walk up the stairs to floor one and floor two. The game has very limited prompts or direction cues, and you'll find yourself slowly roaming through the hallways, randomly trying to open every apartment door. Every room will be locked, except for the room that you're required to enter. This seems odd to me, as you would think that both the janitor, as well as the person responsible for evictions, would have a set of keys to open these doors. On floor 2, the first apartment door you search will be accessible. Why they didn't put the first accessible room on floor 1 is beyond me. In each room, there will be at least one collectible item that you must find in order to progress the game forward and when you first interact with them, you will have a moment to read some game lore. You will never see these items again, as there is no inventory or notes section, a factor that doesn't matter as these items do not contribute to the story in a major way. After completing a room, you will then need to make your way to the next newly unlocked room. Again, you'll find yourself in a tedious state of slowly walking down hallways, up and down stairs, checking every door as you go. Tediously wandering is how you'll spend most of your time playing Frightens. The story is extremely thin, and what you do know is intentionally shrouded in mystery. I also don't quite know why a keyless janitor, instead of a property manager, is doing the evictions in the first place. As the game progresses, the lighting tends to get dingier and darker. The protagonist uses a flashlight, though you don't have control over when you can use it. There are many times in the game where you would assume a rational person would use a flashlight, yet he just roams around in the dark. After playing for about 10 minutes, you will realize that the music is actually on loop, and the tense moments in the music are not linked to anything that is happening on screen. As a result, the horror atmosphere diminishes, and the music begins to feel forced. I was able to beat the game in just over an hour of play. With that in mind, know that I literally explored every nook and cranny and tried to interact with almost every object available. And to get really nitpicky, it bothered me that this poster wasn't fully filled out. There are a few jump scares throughout the game, and at least one will startle you. Overall, Room 135 offers the best gaming experience that Frightens will provide. If you want to experience Frightens without heavy spoilers, I recommend you move on to our next review video, as the rest of this review will dive into gameplay and story spoilers. The jump scare isn't the only horror trope in Frightens. The entire experience feels like every horror trope available was thrown together into one game. You've got black cats, doll heads, TV with static, blood-stained floors, crime scene tape, that demonic guy, surveillance footage, hanging livestock, tombstones in bathtubs, dingy lighting, Creaky doors, mannequins, clowns, creepy old people, toys coming to life, eerie kids, masks, a room with a red glow, 
garbage falling out of the ceiling. The list goes on, and for all the horror tropes that Frightens has, none of it makes sense thrown together. And if you wanted a good ending, you came to the wrong place. The game literally has no conclusion and ends with a to-be-continued screen. Overall, how the game concludes is surprising, as the game doesn't really feel like it started in the first place. The end of Frightens feels like the setup to a game, like you've completed the tutorial and are ready to actually start gaming. The to be continued screen implies there will be a next chapter to the story. A chapter that should be free DLC, as I can't see how anyone would buy it after playing this first installment.